Welcome everybody, this is your Slewbach, and here's some time for more Let's Play Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door! In the last episode, we made it deeper into the Palace of Shadows, and in this episode, we're going to start off the battle with the Chain Chomp! <laughs> Unintentionally, I was actually trying to get around the bridge to kind of explore a bit. Oh, we already scared the Chain Chomp in me! Okay, well, in that case, um, I'm going to run away and restart this battle with uh, Bobbery. <laughs> Why, I think you guys know by this point. <laughs> um, though, actually, I just realized I could have used Showstopper and it would have been probably much better. Um, actually, well, <laughs> I was going to try to get around him there, but okay. Um, which, I mean, I'm just curious, does Bombast actually kill these guys in one hit? Nope. Wow, that's some high defense they have. Wow, that's some high defense they have. Oh my... Oh, wow. Am I doing the math right? That's four defense? And wow, I, uh, not a good start, huh? Well, at least I got rid of one of them. <laughs> uh... Damn my need for experience right now. Actually, I'm not even sure if I need it right now. It's just... It's one of those things, like, I just kind of... Well, you know, we haven't fought these guys in a while, so I mean, it, I mean, it kind of makes sense, right? I want to... want to fight them. And I'm getting some unnaturally slow lag here. <clears throat> well, unnatural for this computer, anyway, is dropping to 80. Uh, you're not a good sign when it's, when it's low. Anyway, um, so, anyway, uh, sorry about that. Um, <laughs> I don't know, I think I feel like I have to tell everyone when, whoa. And we gotta fight this guy again. Oh, uh, boy. <laughs> Okay, so, um, three guys. Let's actually use Showstopper right for once. Um, because I know, I'm fairly certain Showstopper's not going to work on most bosses. I mean, it did work on that one guy, on that one, uh, Dark Bones, but I don't think he's an actual boss in the same sense, like, the guys we're about to run into. There we go. I trouble to find the X and Y button there. It's like at times you can see I, I do really good. <laughs> <coughs> I'm really good at the like the A B A B sort of thing, you know, the back and forth of the two buttons. <laughs> which you wouldn't guess, which you'd never be able to guess because if you ever see me play some more RPG, I can't get past the Boshi part, the Boshi race on the A B and A B A B thing there. Though that's that's more of a rhythmic thing. Um, let's see, we did that. No, I'll do BP. <laughs> Excuse me. You know, like, Luigi in the, in the uh, crowd. You know, this is a good, this is a good question I have. This, this also applies to the, pay, to, uh, Mario RPG. Why wasn't Luigi a part, a party member? I mean, I sort of get it in this game why he's not a party member, sort of. Um, I mean, I mean, it makes sense, it makes sense to a degree to, in some sort of, I guess, you could say, twisted way. Oh, that's why I, I peekaboo on. I thought I thought I scanned them. Whoops. Um, Trying to think of what to equip now. Good. In all honesty, Power Smash, I haven't been using Power Smash all that often. If I do use it, I'm probably going to use Piercing Glow. <coughs> hmm, excuse me. You know what? I haven't used Hammer Th I haven't. <coughs> excuse me. Sorry about that. Um, I'm gonna re-equip 
lucky start. Um, I take off, yeah, I took off ice pack because I don't think we'll be using it anymore. Um, I probably should have quit feeling fine if I'm sneezing that much. <laughs> though, you, though it's not, not that bad. Um, <laughs> I don't think feeling fine, feeling fine will, will save you from these, from the uh, allergies. Um, no, anyway, just real quick, I'm gonna save again. Just. Oh no, no, no. Um, you know, say, saving multiple times for pansies and people that actually don't do Let's Plays. <laughs> um, or just people who just want to save. <laughs> anyway, um, you and me here. Uh, I have no clue what it is. It looks like something from Super Paper Mario. Actually, you know what? There we go. I thought I wasn't going to be able to do that. <laughs> At least it didn't cost any magic. So I, I don't think I hit it. I don't think I, I, don't think I timed that out right. Um, <coughs> you can never tell when there's only one enemy. So I, I think it still throws them, right? That's a dark wiz wizard. It's a part machine, part organic, centuries old thing. Magic, or max HP is ten attack is five and defense is two. Use magic to attack and alter your condition. So stay on guard. There's only one left. It's, it'll, yeah, it'll multiply itself to confuse you. I know they look totally goofy, but they're actually pretty tough enemies. So yeah. Let's go ahead and piercing blow this guy before he gets any chance to use any stats conditions on us. Uh, this guy is basically like all other kind of magic caster enemies in this game, or the x not PhDs. <coughs> Which, in a way, I kind of consider magic casters, because they're using potions, and that's technically a magic thing, even though it's really science. Because al because it's technically alchemy, which is a blend of science and magic, but also, at the same time, real alchemy is actually a pseudoscience. Now, I, I use that term in the loosest sense, because... Seriously, they're trying to turn lead into gold. It's an impossibility, at least with the technology. It's an impossibility with the technology we have today. I mean, we could. We could do it. I mean, it's just, it's just about rearranging atoms and molecules, but at the same time, it costs way more than... It costs way more than it would be worth. Than <laughs> the gold we could make. I mean, we could do what? We, we could make, what, a, an ounce of gold for, like, a trillion dollars? <laughs> Actually, I'm not even sure that much. I, I think it'd be more than that. <laughs> I'm not even sure if we can... Like, like I said, I'm not even sure if we can do that with our technology. Anyway. <clears throat> anyway, um... Getting way off subject there. Um... Yeah, might as well. <sighs> I used power... I used, uh... Piercing blow, right? Uh. Oh. I, I could have sworn he's piercing blow, and I should have done six damage to this guy. Did I not time it right or something? <coughs> um. Yeah, I guess since we haven't seen a, a full battle of these guys, I'll just kind of fight them legit. And by legit, I mean just like not using the star power. And it's foggy. Uh, okay, so this time we're going to use piercing glow. There we go. I didn't time it right. Yeah. yeah, I'm not. I'm not too sure with it with this setup. I have how effective it's gonna be. The main problem with that power punch. Um. Nah, we don't need it. 
And I pick it up again. Now, you know, what, what am I going? I'm going after coins there. What the hell? What the hell was I going that, doing that for? <coughs> okay, so yeah. So, when you're going down this hallway, doesn't look it. There's probably one at the end. No? Okay. And we're going down the hallway again. Oh, there we go. There we go. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I blew him up. <laughs> okay, so that... Oh, wow. <laughs> took care of him. <coughs> yeah, these guys we fought in the, la in the last episode or the last couple episodes of the Phantom members. Uh, not too terribly hard enemies, they're just like your base Gimber enemies, and yeah. Just a quick refresher on them. Um, so yeah. Um... Just try to. The thing is, I think I'm gonna have to go back anyway. I'm gonna have to go back back this way anyway. So you know, I might as well fight this guy and get it over with. There. Yeah, just get this. The best, your best bet. You are gonna have to fight these guys all over again, and they are annoying to fight. Um. Instead of wasting the magic, because I think the, the boss I was talking about, there's not the boss, I, you know, I think we're about to fight a boss. And, wow, I did not mean to show this one off. Oh, right, we got to do that all the way to the top. Okay, so this is, a, this is a new ability, which I guess I'll show off now. Um, oh, the show, no, not showstoppers. Uh, the other, the other one that we got that's easier to pull off, but costs a lot more magic. So I just wasted a lot of. <coughs> and right there deals. What the? It gives you experience as well. It deals massive damage. Okay, I need a refresher on these things. I could have sworn. Uh, Crystal Stars. Uh, they're not telling you what we got, what those give us. Um. There we go. Okay, Supernova does a massive damage to all enemies. Beats your enemies with a single blow. Yeah, Showstopper should not give us experience for it. At least I don't remember giving you experience. <coughs> no, that's, that's like, it's, it's the sole reason I never used it. Because, I, yeah. Anyway. Now I'm going to be hurting my head. You guys, you guys are probably no better than I. Tell me if it actually does damage in the real game or not. Because I do not remember dealing damage. If it does, uh, please let me know. Because I'll be using that a lot more when I actually play the game. <laughs> I actually play my actual copy of the game. Um, anyway. With all that said, we're about 15 minutes into this, and I think there's a boss fight about to come in, so I think that'll be a good spot to start the next episode. So, in the next episode, we'll go through that door and see if there's a boss fight. If there is, we'll fight that boss. If not, well, you know, we'll just go from, we'll just, uh, go from there. Until then, I'll see you guys later.